just Gary in here, and uh, yeah, and I've not made a video in four weeks again. Uh, but a lot's been happening due to college assessments and, of course, College of the Ghosts. So I've not been really doing any orders or anything. I have had orders and some intros to make, which have I've kind of have been slow with. They're still not finished, um, but. I guess that just means when I finish them that they'll be up and they'll have something to upload, so expect them in the next two weeks. Uh, but yeah, I thought I would just bring you this tutorial, which is how to model these troops here. And um, really easy, fairly simple. And a lot of you might, like who don't really model a lot, might not know how to do it, but there's actually only one other tutorial on YouTube apart besides this one, so yeah, it should be pretty good. Um, so just make a new project. And um get a tube. Just thin it down. Don't know about that. Make it nice and thick. Um rotation segments fifty. You can even go ham and make it as big as you want, I'm just going to do 50 because you don't really notice it. Um, yeah, it should be about okay, so just click C to make edible or just click uh, this icon here. And uh, yeah, basically now we're just going to edit the axis point. So to do this, as you can see it's in the middle, this is the axis point here with your X, Y and Z axis. Um, click this icon here. I'm not sure what it looks like in previous uh, editions of Cinema 4D, but yeah, it should look something like this. If not, you can look for it. So after you've done that, come into this menu. And what we're going to do is come in and just move this up to the top here. I don't know if I come in just I guess about here and then that's about it. Maybe and a bit but yeah that should do just be sure so it's not like right on the corner because you're gonna this is like where you're gonna be rotating it. So you know it's gonna kinda bend round this. So I should like that just come into the top one now and um this is your face down menu, or face down view, sorry. And just place it on like that, right on the edge. You can zoom in again and perfect it if you're a bit of a perfectionist. And then boom, uh, you should be okay. Yeah, like so. So once you've done that, just come back into this menu. Uh, I'm just going to check the access point here. Uh, yeah, it should be fine. Um, Untick your access menu now, and what we're going to actually do is click your model menu or your polygons. Yeah, so you can see your polygons and just select them all from the face down menu, just like that. So, like so, just hold control and control. Uh, yeah, it should be control. Hmm, something's fucked up with my C4D, right back. Okay, yeah, so shift you hold in. Um, I think you can do it with control or command as well, but yeah, shift. So, uh, let's do it from this menu. Be steed. I'm looking. Right, yeah, now you hold in control or command and lift it up a bit, like so. And then from here, we're gonna. In fact, we're gonna have to move it again because we've just noticed that this is back in the middle. So if that does happen, just keep an eye on your axis point. 
I think maybe when you select all of these, yeah, it definitely does. Um, that it goes back into the middle, obviously, because uh, on these polygons, I don't the axis doesn't move like when you move the objects axis. It's weird that way, but yeah. Just make sure you get it in the, the same position as you had it before, or roughly the same, so you know, like that. Um, and then, yeah, you can see that's fine. Just needs moved a little bit. Right, yeah, so. Uh, is that good? Hmm. Yeah, it should be alright. Uh, just go to kind of whatever side it's facing. Means it's facing this way. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is where I'm going to make my curve. So to do that, you get a rotation tool and hold control. Make sure you've unticked axis and model mode and um, polygon mode. Sorry. Ah, not polygon mode. Um, I'm gonna keep that. Yeah, so uh, make sure you keep that selected and then just make sure your axis is unticked. If you start moving it and it's not doing nothing, check these points here and just make sure this one's selected. And then from that, we're just going to slowly go up to get a nice curve. More polygon, just select the smooth or the curve will be so oops yeah just gonna take your time with it and just until you get to the top to check you can just come into this bit here and check and I mean you can kinda justify where straight is for you but just there so just like that and then click your normal selection tool back and just hold command or control and just bring it out to the same length and uh, yeah basically you've got this perfect arch um, it's actually pretty nice it's not bumpy or nothing and yeah, it's pretty cool so um, yeah now to make the pipe uh, you basically just want to kind of replicate this um, well yeah duplicate it well, of course we can't duplicate it, so yeah, you'll have to just kind of make it again. Um, that's a good idea to do at the start. Duplicate the tube before you edit it. If you don't want to do this. I'm just going to make it roughly the same. Doesn't really matter anyway with the wall sizes. It's going to be inside the tube, so just rotate it like so, and yeah, you're going to kind of place this inside. Um, open up this view, should get a better justification on where it's going. that cool? Yeah, I'll do. Um, so of course you can change the size of this, do whatever you want. I'm just going to duplicate this now by holding Command and pressing C and V. And I just do the exact same thing, basically just place it inside the tube. Take a look at that. Uh, pretty much perfect. Just need to. Yeah, that'll do. So, um, yeah, we're not done yet. Obviously, that looks like a pipe. Um, but there's no screws or anything, and that's basically a detail. And detail's cool, so why not? To do the screws, all you have to do is get a tube again. Bring this up to the top and decrease the segments to 8. Um, you can do 6 if you want or how many you want. I'm just going to do 8 and close the middle. Once you've done that, you can just scale it down. Um, like 
that. That looks pretty cool. Right. Um, so we can just group this. Call it tube. And um, we're going to take this tube and put it into a cloner. Radial, and then just scale that down. Hmm. Hold on a minute. Expand. Yeah, expand the route first. And then yeah, you can scale the size of these down. Um, but of course, we're gonna want to make this. Around the, I don't know, what do you call it? The, the edge of the arch or the curve, here. Yeah. And come into this view here. Um, and just try and basically align this up. Um, that's what I did to get the, the screws. Um, so you need to open it up a bit more. Let's take a look at that a bit more. See how it looks? Yeah, that'll do. I'm not gonna. In fact, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was about to say I'm not gonna perfect it, but what's going on here? And uh, yeah, basically, when you've just got it to your liking, you can begin to increase the number of these so I mean say you want more than five or whatever um, you can do like ten you know there you have a nice circle and there yeah looks cool so just move it across control C control V and rotate it you can hold shift while it's rotating and it'll kind of lock to every ten degrees it's really helpful. Um, and then you yeah, just align it back up. <sighs> like so. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's pretty much that. Yeah, so um, just gonna move this up. Yeah, and that'll do. So um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna do a quick render of this now just to show you what it looks like. So um, if you come into my intro Lightroom, I'm gonna give this away in this video if it hits fifty likes. So um. Yeah, be sure to thumbs up if you want this. It's really good to just give you a quick preview. Well, in fact, I'll, I'll preview the pipe and then I'll give you a preview of the logo. So, if you get your pipe in, I'm just going to untick the camera and get a kind of more close up view, I guess. Um, if you're wondering what texture this is, the gold one I use, it's in the Lightroom. Um, it's Smoky Crashers. Material Pack V2, it has all the nice gold kind of, uh, materials in it, so um, yeah, be sure to download that, it's free, so and they're really high quality, the, um, they're all made from scratch, so there's no like uh, materials downloaded from Google or anything like, you know, people download textures and kind of work with them, this is all from 
the presets and stuff inside the texturing options in Cinema Full D. So they're really high quality and there's no like uh, pixel stretching or anything within the textures, which is cool. So uh, yeah, definitely download these. So um, I don't really know what materials I used within my Cyclone show. Just check right now. Uh, pipes. So, um, yeah, there's that one. You know, I'm just gonna copy the pipes so and get the materials. <laughs> Lazy. Oops, wrong project. <sighs> but yeah, that's that. Uh, so the rusted ones will go on these. The screws, or yeah, I'd put them on the screws. Did I put them on the screws in that? Yeah, I put them on the screws. So yeah, I put that. Like, well, I'm not sure if you'll be using this texture pack, but <laughs> this is just what I'm doing. You can texture this completely yourself um, to your likings. Cubic seamless and. Put the bump steel one on the actual whole tube itself. So, yeah, and I mean, that looks like a pipe to me, um, or a tube, whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, I'll just render this out for you and give you a preview of both the light room and the pipe itself. So, ah, uh, so yeah, like I said. Uh, this light room will be given away at 50 likes. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, it works well with logos. Um, text, yeah, I suppose you could probably mess about with it and get it to work with text, but yeah, you can see from the project yourself and the release it that it works really well with logos. It's basically the lighting setup I used in my psycho intro um, and pretty much any intro I do. So. Yeah, be sure to download it, it's really good and it gives off nice lighting effects, especially with the gold um, texture. So, yeah, if, that can get to, if the video can get to 50 likes, that'd be awesome. So, um, yeah, you start to see this material now, it's really nice. Um, we've got a soft box on the top, so we're getting that kind of light coming down and the shadowing and everything is just really nice. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much how to make a tube or a pipe. Uh, I don't really know what you want to call it, so yeah, you choose. But <laughs> that's basically it. If my computer will hurry up and render the last square. But uh, yeah, um, nothing really else to say. Uh, apart from thanks for three hundred and fifty subs. Um, I was gonna give the light room away for that. I was gonna give something. I was just kind of messing about in Cinema Full D, and I just thought I'd make this tutorial and give it away if you got me a certain number of likes. But I'm doing a setup video at four hundred, so you'll get to see what kind of stuff I use. Um, yeah, should I do four hundred or five hundred? Hmm. Maybe five hundred. I don't know. Um, but I'll definitely be giving away something for four hundred. So definitely. Keep the subs coming as long as you're active, and um, yeah, I'll just do a quick preview of the logo right now, so you can see the Lightroom before you download it uh, with the gold texture on the logo. And um, yeah, apart from that, that's all. So uh, thanks for watching, and yeah, I'll be back when this is rendered. Here's the cycle logo. Um, pretty nice, as you can see. I've already kind of covered that it gives off nice lighting effects. All that you can use it yourself. Um, I don't need credit or anything, you know, just feel free. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I've kind of covered everything before I showed you this, so yeah, enjoy. Um, see you in my next video.